Hey guys, this is a Sarah video. Um, so I'm in my bed right now. Okay, yeah, I just wanna wanna do it before I go to sleep. So. Um, so I'm uh, still be in um, you know, on Katie. Um, serious video. So uh, if you're not gonna take this video seriously, then just leave. This isn't a joke. Uh, d uh, even if. Even if you just hear me saying, oh, it's a joke, you probably think it's a joke now. If if you've read the title description, just leave. If you're not, if you want to be entertained, just leave. If you want some good advice, then uh, you're free to stay. But if you're uh, gonna, you know, spam me or something, uh, or leave hateful messages, leave the fucking video. If you're gonna do it, I'll I'll, I'll just block you. I'll just block you, so you can't do it anymore. And then you'll have to make another account and I'll block you on that as well. And I'll keep doing it until I block until I block you completely and you get annoyed. Okay, so I'm not that's it, alright? So that's that, okay. So um I don't know if you know but I've been dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety and it oh, I say it right. Anxiety a lot through my life. Um I haven't told a lot of people the story but um throughout my school years from primary school and upwards I've been bullied by uh, people and teachers. Um, when I when I was in year, I'd say three up to year six, which is when I left that school. Before I before I left, before I finished year six, I left. Um, <coughs> so we'll start back when I was you know younger. I was uh, had very very low self esteem. I still do a bit. I tr I try and you know raise it a little bit, um, because you know I had a lot more confidence now. But I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about back then. Um, I had a lot of self-esteem issues. I had a lot of issues with my life. Um, like uh, people used to bully me a lot. Well, just, some people do, but you know that they're not even worth bothering anymore. Um, because I've learned to overlook them. So, uh, we'll go on to the, my beginning first, okay? So we can actually start with that. And then we'll work through. Okay, so I was bullying a lot in primary school. Um, I, I didn't have uh, hardly any friends in primary school. Um, only a few, which I no longer see because they no longer in my secondary school or any others. So, uh, yeah, um, there was a teacher. I'm not going to name her because... A lot of you, if you've been to my school and you know, then you'll know her name. But um, she, this was when I was younger, so I had really low self-esteem, and I wasn't like as more strong as I am now, strong as emotionally strong. Um, she used to uh, bully me. Uh, she used to say that I'm worthless, made me cry. Uh, she used to just be horrible to me. Throughout the whole class, she used to say I'm worthless. I'm not worth, you know, teaching stuff, I'm a loser, you know, stuff like this, and, uh, like, she used to make me really upset, and then she'd get, like, a mirror out of her drawer, you know, like, uh, one of those makeup mirrors, ones that are on the stand, and they've got two sides, and you can turn it, it's like a big circle thing, like that, and she would, like, show my face and say, look at you, look how, look how ugly you look crying, and stuff like this, this is in front of the whole class, I, I, I I didn't know what to do. I told my mum so many times, and uh, she eventually she reported her like two, three times to the school. They didn't even kick her out for it. They didn't believe her. Um, a TA actually had a go at my mum for reporting her, even though the TA was in the class at the time. She was being rude to my mum. This was at Watkin Primary School, so I'm not going to name the teacher. Um, I don't know if I should actually, but. Um, she knows who she is. She's watching my videos. You know who you are, and I hate you. And a lot of people hate you. Um, every person I've asked that were younger and and just left, they said they hate you as well. Um, you're worthless to people. You're not a teacher. You're a bully. You have no life. You have no intentions of helping people. You're just a bully and you're a troublemaker. So. Now that I said, if you're on this video, leave because you're not you're not welcome here. You're not welcome to see me anymore. 
I, I left at the end of year six. Bef like I ended, but I left before the end of year six without telling any of the teachers. That's why a lot of the kids in that school said I was I was expelled or you know kicked out. I wasn't kicked out. I left. I left myself. I went to Barton Primary School. So I went to primary school. I I made a lot more friends. I mean, I actually went to actually uh, actually at well, Westerns now, which was my second school. I'm going to year ten, so yeah. Um, I made a lot more friends. Still had some problems with teachers, but. I had a lot more friends, I had a lot more really better relationships with people. Um and overall I was a lot more happier. That was for like a couple of months and stuff till like the end of year six left. Um then uh this is when I started secondary school. Uh it was a bit uneasy at the start. Uh a lot of people were still picking on me because the tr the funny thing is right, you gotta admit this. When you when you when someone doesn't like you, it sort of goes into a spread. So say like you say something horrible to someone because they take the mick out of you or something. Say if you're little, say if you're year six, they will tell their friends, and their friends will get the wrong idea about you before they've even met you. You haven't even met them yet. Then they then they spread it to their friends and their friends and their family and their dads, sisters, brothers, and all that. And then we end up getting a whole wave of people. I haven't even met me yet, and then as soon as they've met me, they've been horrible to me. <coughs> Sorry about the camera waving, I've got it on my hands. Um, so, I don't understand why that is. A lot of people have wade, wake, you know, woken up now and realised that a lot of people, a lot of things people say are just to be horrible to people and be spiteful. So, uh, yeah. Um, so. It was like that in year seven. It was not hard in year seven. I mean, the work was all right. Um, the stress levels was like very low. Also, in primary school, I had very bad anger issues. I actually told the teacher to bully me to fuck off one time, and I stormed out of the school. I well, I didn't storm out of the school. I ran outside. Um, they didn't even tell me off because they know they they know what they did to me. They're not gonna tell me off for something that they've done. You know, so uh, my stress levels at primary school was maximum of all time. When I went to secondary school, year seven, it was minimum, I'd say. And then uh, year eight was the same. This is like this is the beginning of the year nine. Well, yeah, more people and more people started knowing me. They they didn't like me at all. I got a lot of bullies then. You know, people didn't like me. People started fights with me a lot. Um, People fighting with me, they couldn't beat me. Um, stood my ground. Um, I had a lot of bullies in primary school. That I had a fight with as well. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you a story, but uh, this kid I'm not gonna name. He knows who he is, but I'm friends with him now. I don't see him a lot anymore. So he basically was taking a mick out of me and stuff, or taking a piss. If you're American, taking a mick means you know making fun of you, and basically just being horrible and you know. So I chased, I got really, really angry, so I chased him. <coughs> I got rid of my chest anyway, because I got kicked coughing, so. So I, uh, I, I chased him to, around the playground, and I, uh, you know, cut, caught up with him, because he was running away, I sprinted, literally, and I managed to trip him up, and, um, I basically beat him up, or kicked him in the stomach, though, and said to, said to him, if you do that again, I'll break your legs. And then he, he started crying, saying, I won't do it again, I'm sorry. And from that day on, he never did it. Now that's a, a important life lesson. Um, a lot of the time, people do it to make fun out of you. They do it to, you know, make you react. This is why Copper Cab has got so many views, because he knows that they react. I take him serious a lot of times. And he, he just carries on, he knows what he's doing, he wants to make money out of people. He just goes ranting. I could I could do that easily. I could shout at the camera. I could say, Oh you fat fucks, oh stop picking on me. I mean I could have done that a lot. You know, I could have done that now. I could have said, Oh fuck you to all the people at school. I'm not gonna do it. There's no need. There's no need for it at all. Um so he needs to calm his shit down. I've told him so many times, calm his shit down. You don't need to do all this. But I think he's doing it for, you know, money. Um, 
And that Ginger's House Souls video is so fake, it's ridiculous. you got to admit that. You know when he says, Ginger's House Souls, and I go to church, I'm a Christian, you can't tell me that. Um, I'm sorry, but if you're a Christian, then you don't, you wouldn't react like that, trust me. Um, so, I'll go, I'll go on to my religion afterwards. So, after what I'm going to say, so, yeah, um, people were just picking on me, being horrible, um, my stress levels are bad, um, there's like this, uh, scalp condition I've got, that when I get stressed a lot, I itch, like my head itches a lot, and I get like a lot of dandruff. And that isn't caused by dirtiness or sweat or you know, it's a it's a cause but it's caused by emotion you know like uh, stress and all that, and it will it will like you will get really like hot and like sweaty. Not you even if you're not hot, you've not doing anything. You get like really agitated, hot, sweaty, and you will like get a really bad itchy head and a lot of dandruff. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit it because it, everyone has weaknesses. Uh, you can you can be you can go on YouTube, pretend to be this big badass, you know, recording yourself doing weights. I got weights. I don't need to record myself doing weights. It's about, um, you know, doing things for yourself. I don't really care about people hating on me anymore because I've grown out. I've grown out of being, you know, trying to do this. I mean, sometimes it bug me, but you know, you just try and ignore them. Um, a lot of times, people threaten me and stuff because they can't, and I've had to. I've had to react because otherwise, I could get hurt. So, yeah, um, what's it saying? Um, so, yeah, but this, is this thing, anyway, yeah, I tried a lot of, um, first I started off with, like, shampoo, it never got rid of it, it just, it made it worse, because, you know, it, it would, like, agitate it more, so, um, then I went to the doctor about it, they gave me, uh, and they gave me something like cheap and horrible, it won't work, it didn't work properly, it had like, it basically has a tar in it or something like that, like a, a very strong, potent mixture that will help you, and it does help, but the first one I got didn't help, the next one I got was Selsun, S-E-L-S-U-N, that works really well, it's like orangey colour, um, that helps, but it always comes back again, <coughs> um, I don't even tell but my my throat's really itchy, so if I'm coughing and I'm annoying you, sorry. Okay, so um then um that helped and then it it wasn't working, it kept going on and off and my my stress was getting high. I went to the doctors, he gave me some more stuff, didn't work. And then I got some this is lately, I got some really like strong very strong stuff, it's very runny, it's brown. Um that's helped me so far, but you know, I still get it you can't stop it from what I know um, <coughs> oh, it's really hard to you know because when I talk it makes it worse but I really want to make this video so um, yeah uh, I, I battle that a lot so that's that's making my stress levels worse as well um, a lot of people they say they're stressed but they really don't know how like what stress is like um, I mean, I may be saying this now, I may be have a lot of stress when I'm older, I probably will, but I'm, what I'm saying is now, there's a lot of anxiety as well, from, you know, working hard, and people say I'm not working hard enough and stuff, so, um, now I'm going to come on to making YouTube videos, this is how it all evened out, it helped me, um, I started making YouTube videos, a few people started watching, they were saying they were good, but a lot of people were making, taking the mic out of me. <coughs> um, then I sort of made that Mrs. Respirator video, as you all know, everyone's seen it. Um, that was a big hit, a viral video for me, because I've seen viral videos get like 2 million, 3 million views. I'm not about that kind of viral video, I'm not about a viral video that everyone that I know knows. Yeah. Um, so people love that video a lot of people love that video um a lot of people from school that didn't like me uh was disliking the video a lot of people do actually if you see my videos a lot of people from school dislike them so I'll, i usually have to disable them because otherwise it just gets out of hand uh, this kid actually threatened to uh put a dislike bar on my youtube so every time i do a video i get like 20 dislikes 
that hasn't happened yet, so he's probably bullshitting. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Then I, yeah, I made that viral video. More people like me, and then more, and more, and more people watched it. And I got a lot more, like, friends. People, like, knew me better. People weren't as horrible. <coughs> and then, you know, people aren't as, you know, horrible to me now. And then it's sort of balanced out a little bit. But occasionally I do get a lot of, you know, people being horrible. Um, so, you know, after I, you know made start making that video i also uh started going to church because church helps um i go every year as well i go to i go to church when it's christmas um i also uh i go to church every friday um loaded uh it's like a youth sort of thing where you used to talk to people and you you know communicate and you pray and you worship and all sorts now I used to be an atheist. I don't know if you believe. I don't know if you believe that, but I've been, I was an atheist for two years, because um, I was very into science. I still am, but I you know I used to be really into it, and I thought like science, the science like explanation was the way, which is like you know why I thought that way. So I started going to church. I uh, you know I found God. I. scratching the cat so I uh, yeah started going to church I uh, started praying I uh, you know all that and I you know I uh oh god I was with him and um when you do that prayer that um when you when you do that um you feel like um very like enlightened uh like very happy you you feel like it's like the best day of life it's weird and uh so yeah i i did that and i felt you know like that you know and i i could i could feel him there you know when you, if you're if you're a christian and you know when you have that when you do that first prayer everyone knows everyone feels it when they do it Sometimes, not the first time, you just do it like the second time. <coughs> um, so I, added, I did it twice actually because I don't think I did it for, uh, properly the first time. So, then I did that and then um, I did that more. Uh, I pray a lot. Um, it helps me a lot. Um, and then, you know, uh, I still have a lot of stress levels. Um, a lot of the times, um, I, you know, before I used to, like, really hate myself, this is before any of it, um, I hated myself a lot, um, I hate, I felt like no one likes me, no one, you know, no one gives a shit about me, no one, you know, cares, but, um, you know, you you you'll have that in your life everyone will have that and you have to like overcome it uh, you can't overcome it but you know it's something you could try it does work sometimes <coughs> anyway uh i felt that today because people were like saying stuff to me on facebook and i don't really want to explain it all but i'm not gonna say anything else but anyway so they were being like horrible to me and I just felt, I just felt like I've lost, you know, you know when you feel like that, you feel like you're worthless, and then I realised, you know, there are only words, why would you be offended by a word, so say like, shit was shit, right, so in the opposite way, right, and now shit, it's swapped around with ship, and ship is down to swear word, people tell you to ship off, you would be angry. The only reason you take offence by it is because people told you it's offensive. You know, it's it's just something that someone said. Same as racism. I mean, you shouldn't be ra you shouldn't be you know offended by if someone calls you the n word. It's just a word, you know. 
it's only you're you're only taking offence because you know you've you know you you've heard it's that word that offensive, but the only reason you're being offended is because of that word. If you just ignore that word, you know <coughs> you will not be offended by it. I know people will say other things, but that will like make you feel bad, like the way they say it. So they say like, oh, you, you like that, you will be upset. But as long as it's in a happy voice, you know, it's not, it's not realistic, you know. So words are only things, you know, that we've made up like that way. It's very hard to explain, but you know, like words that are offensive or racist, and it's all things that we can overcome. All we gotta do is ignore the words. Don't even bother thinking about it because it will play in your mind a lot and you will just get so angry, so fed up. People call me Ginger. I'm like, yeah, you just described my hair colour. Well done. You got a medal. You know? Stuff like that. It's funny how people say you're Ginger. I'm like, yeah, you just described me. How can you... You know? It's like saying you've got brown hair. I'm like, yeah, you've got brown hair. Wow, I've just described you. You know? So, so if Ginger was swapped with brown hair this time, so song, so so Ginger is now cool. People, people think it's not cool. So I don't know. Some people do. And like, oh, you got brown hair, ha ha ha! Your brown hair, you brown-headed person, you know. So, you know, it's it's all just rubbish, you know. How can you be offended by a hair colour? You know, people saying you're Ginger. Well done, you've described my hair colour. I don't care. You know. Um and you know, people say oh gingers don't have souls, that's obviously from South Park, but you don't know who's got a soul or who hasn't. You know everyone was born with a soul. The only reason they don't have a soul anymore is because they've sold it to the devil. They've you know been horrible, they've destroyed people, they've killed people. They're heartless, you know, they don't have a uh, you know, a heart anymore. I mean, you can still go to God. You know, you can if you if you killed someone by accident, and you you really really mean it of all your heart and your soul, and you tell God that you you didn't mean it. You accidentally did it. You feel sorry about it. You like you, you know you you just tell him how you feel. He will help you. But it's something you got to keep doing. Um, Obviously, killing someone is a big, very big thing, so you need to do that a lot. But I'm not just saying killing people; I'm saying a lot of things. <coughs> um, <coughs> if you wanna, you know, go to God or whatever, you don't have to go to a church, but you can you can do it in your head. You can tell, you can look online for um, the uh, you know the the prayer which basically tells God that you're you know and that's how I did it I found one uh, obviously I made sure it was for God and not the devil or whatever you know so I you know I checked and all that and I also did it with a friend that's religious as well so yeah if you don't want to look online and you don't want to do it in your room you can come to a church there's a church in uh, next to Bowling Alley if you know that is RF Bowling well, well I think it's Little Waters Church, I think something like that. Yeah, I go to that one. So um, it's next to the museum. Museum right next to it. Um, go there. Um, if you go on Sunday, you'll see Jordan, and he will help you. You he, he will help you choose where to go from there. He he's a very good leader. Um, he can guide you because um, he can help guide me um, and a lot of other people before me as well so um, Sunday at 11 o'clock 11 20 I think if you go at 11 you will definitely meet him on Sunday but if you go to the church on 11 o'clock so you'll see him there <coughs> um, the only reason I don't go on Sundays is because you know I can't I can't go because I I have have all Weekend with my, uh, you know, the weekend with my dad, and then I have a weekend with my mum. I swap between them. So if I, if I don't do anything on Sunday and I go to there, I will miss out on that weekend. I actually did go with my dad once, and they weren't there. So, 
you know, I tried. Um, obviously, this video is long. Uh, I just wanted to explain a lot of things about my life and, you know, a lot of things. That is pretty short, just to explain my life. There's a lot of things I haven't explained. There's a lot of things I haven't said about my other family, which is their business as well, so that's why I'm not saying it. But that is a lot of my life right there. So from primary school upwards, um, that is real. I'm not lying to you. Um, but it's up to you what you want to believe. That is what I've just said. That is the truth. That's how truthful I am to you guys. I want to tell you the truth, and you know, make sure I'm, you know, telling you that, you know, I, fans, right? People who watch my videos, you mean a lot to me because you give a shit about me. So that, you know, explains to me that you care. You know, I mean, I care about you. Uh, you know, I tell you to subscribe and all that. I'm only doing it so other people can find out about my videos and get noted, you know, get noticed so they can find out about information. Yeah, I do stupid videos sometimes, but you know, I do it for entertainment as well. So if you want to be entertained, you want to have some information, you want to have some reviews on stuff, you know, it's a good place. I mean, I, I do a lot of things, you know, certain things I can't do because of laws and certain things, but you know. <coughs> I do airsoft now, I'm getting on for my birthday. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it's pretty good, but yeah. Certainly, certainly bad, but anyway. I do airsoft, you know, BB guns, I do energy drinks reviews, I do real life like this, I do joke videos, you know, anything to entertain. I also do videos on requests, so if you request a video on, certain, on a certain thing, then I'll try and get on to doing it. A lot of things I can't do for a certain reason. I'll let you know if I can do it. But anyway, uh, I wanted to really do this video because, you know, I have no Facebook and I just felt, why am I bothering this? I just, I hate this so much. You know, I just felt so down. And then I thought, but people like me, that God likes me. Even if, even if you're watching this right now and you're watching this because you need help. I mean, if you don't, if you're not religious, you're saying to yourself, well, no one likes me. Bullshit. There's me here. They don't even think that. If you <coughs> want to want some help with some stuff, with your relationships, or with your family, or with your, you know, status, <coughs> you know, your relig like religious status, or, you know, not like status on Facebook, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, if you want some help, Drop me a comment in the comments if you don't want other people to see it. Uh, go on, like, click on my channel. It's you, like when you uh, when you're on this video, it will have YouTube at the top left. I hope this is left. Um, it'll have YouTube. It'll have the title. And it'll have subscribe button, and it'll have my name. Click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and then click on my name. And on my name, you want to go to my channel, and it will be a little I'll have my name there on the on the right hand side, like there, with the description. It says I like you to make videos, and then I'll have my name. So when you click on my name, <coughs> I have a little arrow pointing down. C click on that or roll over it. I can't remember which one it is. And then click send message, and then you just drop that message into me. I won't tell anyone else. It'd be trust between me and you. <coughs> and I will. You know, try and help me the best I can. If you want some more help, I will. If it's like religiously, and I don't know the answer, I will ask some of my uh, religious leaders, um, like Jordan and some others. So, because I've got them on Facebook and they're usually online a lot, so I can always ask them and I can get you some good information. If I can. Um, all I'm trying to do in this video is be helpful to you. I haven't done this video to get views, alright? I have not done this video to get views. The only reason I've done this video is to help you. So in a way, I've done it to get views for you. So I'm trying to get you to watch this for yourself. I don't care what I get. I don't care if I get thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care if I get haters on this video. I'll just block you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna hate, I'll block you. <coughs> because you don't. You, if you're gonna hate on me for no reason. 
I will block you because you don't deserve the privilege to watch my videos because you're you're making it worse for other people because they want to watch a video that's meaningful and you know worthful so you know don't bother if you're, if you're gonna hate just stop right top typing it delete it all go out the video because you're not you're not you're not helping yourself you know, I may you feel angry that you've watched the video and you don't like my hair color or you don't like my, my face sculpt you know you don't like my my big fat you know chin that's only because I'm laying down if you don't like me I don't like you go away um, obviously I will embrace people who want help who will you know be my friend you know I can talk to them if they want help I can talk to them uh, and you know ask me any questions you want if you want to make if you if it's really private and you feel embarrassed to you know ask so other people don't hate on you just tell me on my you know my channel um obviously I've only done it for you guys I don't care what I get in return I just want to help you guys out um so you can understand me a little bit better a lot of people like <coughs> they say oh you can be whoever you want on YouTube you can be pretend to be a millionaire when you're poor I'm being myself on YouTube but there's no point in lying if you're gonna lie and you're gonna do videos every week, you're just ending up like a fake person. You know, you'll end up like a fake two life person. Um, a lot of videos, like I said, are only for jokes. A lot of times, I will notify you if it's a joke, so you don't take it seriously. Um, uh, you know that Miss Cracker Bottom video is a joke. Don't take it too far. That is just I'm doing that as a comedy thing. I'm gonna try and comedy. For us, for a little new note, new new thing. So we're gonna do that as a comedy thing, and like make it a new character. I don't know if you've watched D6, but he did prank calls, and he had his own characters. He had Nucci, Esther Green. He had um, did he have? Uh, retarded Jimmy. I'm not I'm not being horrible, but he did like like personal special needs. He did. Uh, Kimbo Slice, he did Kimbo Slice's brother, he did um, Luther, which is Esther Green's husband. Nucci's is supposed to be an eight year old, he does really good, like, little kid's voice. And that's what I'm doing. I, I mean, I'm not going to do it for too long. <coughs> um, it depends what kind of feedback I get from it. I don't really care. What, you know, I don't, if you don't like it, I won't do it. I mean, it's up to you. Um, if you want some. If you want a certain subject done, type me a comment below. Just tell me what you want me to do. My video, what like the next video you want me to do. So, uh, yeah, so I got a better idea of what what you know I need to do. So, you know, um, I did this video for uh, 33 minutes now. Um, I hope I haven't bored you too much. I hope you haven't skipped for it a lot because if you skip for it, it's not really going to help you. So, if you've watched this video. And you don't like it, just you know, don't hate. Just tell me what you think. Just give me some feedback. Don't, don't think. Oh, this is an idiot. Thumbs down, thumbs down. Like clicking the thumbs down like five times and then leaving like you're retarded on the comments. Just tell me. Just be calm about it. I know you're probably thinking this is an idiot. Just be calm. Don't like. Don't do thumbs up or thumbs down. Just tell me what you think. Like, tell me what you want, what you what you took out of the video, what you don't like about the video, what you like about the video, and anything you need help with. I mean, I can help you. I don't care. I'm not. There's something I'm mature with, and some things I have to be mature with. And if this thing is mature, it has to be mature. Otherwise, if you're going to be immature, none of this shit is going to be realistic, is it? I mean, come on, be serious now. Um, I literally just. Open my heart to all of you guys. I told you what I said. I'm not trying to be some sort of hero or anything. I just want to help you guys out. There's nothing wrong with helping people. I'll tell you that now. I've helped a lot of people. Helping people can get you far. Um, so I hope I've helped you lot out. If you don't, if you if you need any help with other things, tell me and I'll make a video about it. I won't tell you the people in your name. I won't mention you if you don't want me to. Just tell me what you want me to do with a video or something and I will make a video for you if you want to if you want to be you know if you want to be like ha smile if you want to be
be you know, laugh. If you want to laugh from my videos, tell me what you want like to laugh about, and I'll do a video about it. As long as it's not too extreme, like eat the world's hottest chili, because I can't do that, or like cut your own dick off. I mean, come on, you know. So I hope I've helped you guys out. Uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. It's now two o'clock in the morning. So I hope I've helped you out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you can get new video the, the videos we posted to you on your homepage daily if I do one. Um, thumbs up the video if you want more people to see it so they can get help. Um, because more thumbs up the more it will appear on other people's videos and then they can get help from it. I'm not doing this just to get more views. I want it so they can get help. I can't explain this enough, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna go now, okay, because I've said what I need to say, you know, I tried I'm trying to help you. If you want help, just tell me, alright? I can't say this any more than that. There's nothing else I can do from here except wait and listen and watch feedback. I need to upload this video as well, so when I upload this video, I'm gonna do it now, so I should have free internet, but if I if my internet's slow, I might not do a video for the next week or the week after. I'm not sure. I'll do videos, but I won't upload them. I'll upload them when I got fast internet. I should have a fast internet soon. So yeah, hopefully I'll get that fast internet soon. So I usually it usually goes fast to slow, and then like it'll be it'll be fast again at the beginning of the month, and it hasn't done it yet, so it should be doing it soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment, really subscribe. I hope it helps you out. If you need help, tell me in the comments. If you if it's personal, tell me in the you know my my channel and I'll help you out. So thanks for watching. Peace.